Today we are having a quick look at the lesson learned room on Try Hack Me. This machine is about SQL injection and is supposed to be a relatively easy machine. Well, I guess if you're here, I assume you had the same issues as I did. You try all the basic SQL injection payloads. You maybe even went on GitHub and tried this huge list of SQL payloads yet it didn't work. You maybe even went online and searched for different walkthroughs, like this one, or this one, or this one, yet the machine seems to be uncrackable. You maybe even saw this message, which should be the lesson that we learn from this machine. Now, the solutions provided by these tutorials might have worked at some time, but not anymore. Now, let me show you how to crack this machine. I already started the machine, so I'm going to move to my Kali distribution. If we access the link, we have this login screen. Obviously, the purpose here is to log in into this web page. If we try the solution provided by those tutorials online, and we try to log in, we will get this message, invalid password. This is the first clue. This means that if we manage to get the right username, we might be able to bypass the password using SQL injection. This is why first thing on the list is to find the username. For this, I'm going to use burp suit and try to intercept the request so we can try to do a brute force attack. For this, let me start Foxy Proxy, put here this one, and for password, just put test. Okay, interception is on, login. Okay, we have this in burp suit. We're gonna send this to intruder, here, let's clear the parameters. And as I said before, our focus at the moment is only on the user. So we're going to select this username and mark it as a payload position. Now, for the moment, we don't care about the password. As I said, for the moment, we are interested in finding the username that is valid. So we're going to uh, leave this attack as sniper attack, and we're going we're gonna to go here in payloads. Here, basically, we need a big list of usernames, and I'm going to use this one from Seclist, username names, and I'm going to go with namesTXT. This has over 10,000 possible usernames. Now, to make this easy to identify our user, since we're talking about 10,000 users, we will do this trick. In settings, here in grab match, we're going to clear this. Yes. And for the user that is valid, we're going to get this message, invalid password. So we're going to use this one to identify our user faster and easier. So basically now, the user that will return this message, invalid password, is a valid user. Now we're going to scroll up and start the attack. Oh, sorry, I'm going to cancel this because I forgot to add this in the list. Now we should see the invalid password flag. Start attack. Okay, as you can see here, we have the, the column with invalid password. Of course, this is, this is a false positive, but what we are looking for here is actually this message. As you can see, for the first user, 
the message that we receive as a response is invalid username and password. While for a valid user, we should receive only the invalid password message. Now, due to the fact that we have here 10,177 users, this will take a while until it finishes. I will pause the video here and come back when it's done, so I don't keep you here waiting with me. While we wait for this to finish, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more interesting content about ethical hacking. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Now that we are back, let's try to see if we have a hit. The um, search is not finished yet, but we might get lucky. Look here, we have one, Marcus. Let's see what we have as a response. As you can see here, invalid password. This means that Marcus is a valid user. As you can see, we have the, the flag here marked with one. And also, if we check the length, it's different from the others. This one is 1445, while this for Marcus is 1,432. Okay, I will stop this as it doesn't matter anymore since we already have a valid user. So stop this, discard. Now let's go back to the page. If we put here Marcus and we just put whatever password we have, we should get this, the same message. This is still thinking. Come on, come on, come on. Why is taking so long? Let me stop this and log in again. Maybe my machine stopped in the meantime. No, the machine is still active. Let's go back here. Anyway, what we can do here with Marcus, now that we have a valid username, is to try the easiest way we can do an SQL injection. Meaning we can comment everything that goes after Marcus. For this, we will use the single quote and then dash dash space dash. What this command do is um, commenting everything in the SQL statement. So the SQL statement will look something like select Marcus from table name, which probably is users, where password is something. But since we don't know the password, um, we will comment everything. Oh, now I realize why this is not working. I still have the Foxy Proxy enabled. Okay, now let's try with just Marcus and what login. Okay, refresh, resend, let's start from scratch. Okay, we are here, Marcus, we put whatever password we want, and we log in. As you can see, we still have the invalid password. Okay, now, as I said, we put Marcus, single quote, dash, dash, dash. And we put whatever password we want, and we log in. And we have it. This is the machine solved. As you see, this is more about user enumeration than SQL injection. But anyway, the lesson that we need to learn is that using OR1 equals 1 might delete the entire database, as it happens in this case. So if you are a pen tester, make sure that you never use this one for your testing, because you might 